book readers, book talk, and fans of Colleen Hoover, do we have a movie to talk about today? I've never read the book, my wife did, and It Ends With Us is, well, it's, it's okay. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing It Ends With Us. This is, of course, adapted from the Colleen Hoover novel, and Lily overcomes a traumatic childhood to embark on a new life. A chance meeting with a neurosurgeon sparks a connection, but Lily begins to see sides of him that remind her of her parents' relationship. Directed by Justin Ballodine and written by Christy Hall, and of course, starring the great Blake Lively and many more. Now, Going into this, like I said from my intro, I did not read the book. My wife did, though. She's a massive fan of this book, and she told me a lot of unique perspectives going into this. So I was happy that I, as someone who didn't get to know anything about the book before reading it, nor even really just knowing that she really liked it, but nothing else detailed in the book. So I got to watch it with that expectations, get some surprises, and, and go along for it. And then leave the theater and get to instantly talk with her about the movie and what her thoughts were and specifically what was changed. Now, this is a non-spoiler review, so I'm not going to spoil or talk about any of the major changes from the book and what she had compared and contrasted because she literally just got done rereading it today right before we went to the theaters. But from what I can say, I think book readers might actually be very disappointed in this movie. And as someone who just loves watching movies, I found the movie to be a little bit surface level. There's some good things in here, don't get me wrong, but there are things in here that I just felt were rushed and overall sat there going, I feel like this might have been better as a miniseries than a movie. Well, we got a lot of time to talk about that, so make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Again, if you read the book, please let me know down below your guys' thoughts. If you didn't read the book, also please let me know down below your guys' thoughts. And also do know, I, I, I know there's some controversies around Colleen Hoover and specifically the book. I am not going to talk about that because I am not versed in it. Feel free to look it up yourself if you want to. And with every movie review, the main thing I do want to jump in and talk about is the performances. So let's talk about Blake Lively, who I think is just alive in this. She is such an underrated talent, and I don't think she stars in enough personally. Maybe it's because of her husband always having to go out and be an awesome actor as well, but Blake Lively, every single time she shows up in something, whether I like the movie, whether I love the movie, whether I hate the movie, she's always phenomenal. And I think she is great it in ends with us like truly enough raises the bar on a character that for the most part can be a little surface level but really raises that bar to such a high dimension and i think that actually goes for a lot of the performances in here blake lively though steals the show like i think without her this film would have resulted in kind of a lifetime movie of some sorts but alongside that, I do want to give a shout out. I think Justin Ballodine is also really good in here. He also directs the movie, and I think some, there's some nice flares there as well, which we'll talk about in a second, but I think he was good in here as well. Jenny Slate, awesome. Also, of course, Brennan Skellner, I thought was also great, but nothing tops Blake Lively for this. On top of that, I did mention Justin is also the director of this movie, and I think his direction was solid. I don't think it's like one of the most mind-blowing things, but I think in terms of what they were trying to get across here while i found it surface level and feel like especially after talking to my wife how much was missing from it as much as you can do with a novel of that big of a size and how much you have to do it feels and i think this is the best way to explain the movie it's a montage of emotion it never gets you to the point of crying and it never gets you so sucked in but you can like it for what it is and I think there will be people who watch this movie and people who are watching this review who think I'm insane and think this movie is amazing and incredible. And that's okay to think. I just didn't think so. But I think that is because you're getting a montage of emotion with so much hitting you all at once. And again, Justin's direction on some of that is really solid. The movie moves at a brisk pace. But I do think a lot of the issues don't stem from the direction. I think it mostly stems from the script that was handed to them. And before I jump into my issues and my mixed aspects of the movie, I just want to say good soundtrack as well. Really dug that. Now let's jump into my mixed aspects and my cons and really much leaning into the mixed aspects. I think, again, this is more of where I'd rather just talk about what my wife felt watching the film. And walking right out, I asked her if she liked it and she said, it was fine. And I said, as a book adaptation, what do you think? And she said, I didn't really like it as a book adaptation. And pushing her, and again, not getting into spoilers, 
the film is missing a lot. It seems there's a lot more depth to the certain relationships that Lily has in this film, specifically with Ryle and Atlas, which for me, I felt that, and this now goes to one of my issues, their relationships were montages of emotions, which really just led to it being surface level and rushed. Overall, specifically Atlas's stuff, when she started telling me certain things with the backstory of Atlas and her as children, I was actually really shocked how much of that did not make it into the movie. Primarily even certain things that happens within her parents' relationship that, again, seemed to be needed for the story. On top of that, there's certain things that Ryle delves into, and there seems to be this kind of like, I don't want to call it a twist of some sorts, but this twisted vision idea that they do between these this couple that in the book is more front forward and front facing and i feel that is something that should have been a little bit more prevalent in the movie specifically with the subject matter that they were trying to talk about again very surface level approaches and that was one of her biggest frustrations and after watching the movie I, without even knowing that, I had that frustration with certain things because it felt like the film was so one note with all the characters and feeling like it needed to rush through certain things to just introduce these tidbits where it feels like at times it's trying to be one different movie than one other opposite. And I didn't personally feel that was the strongest approach. And as the more and more my wife told me about things that were missing from the movie that were in the book, whether it was small little details to massive details, it all hindered back to the main issue I had with the film. And that all came out to be with, it was rushed. For two hours and 10 minutes, it feels like it gets repetitive at times. There's certain elements of the story that feels like it's just missing. And I overall just sat there as a viewer, unable to latch on to these characters that I am watching, specifically Blake Lively's. There were things, don't get me wrong, that I could latch on to due to her performance, but it's only so much that I can. I think some people might disagree with me on that. Some people might actually like the changes that they made from the book. I, again, speaking from my wife's term of view, she did not like those changes. And I feel that the changes they made hindered the depth of the film that really was needed for the certain story that they wanted to tell here. And that's where I really think that It Ends With Us is just an okay movie, but for book adaptations and for book readers, they're going to be disappointed in this film, which doesn't really strike a chord in two other avenues for me, because you're, you know, fine, it's not for me, but for book readers, it should be. But even like someone as my wife, who is a massive Colleen Hoover fan and who is a massive fan of this book, was very just disappointed. And I, and I think that for me is like the ultimatum, like walking out of this movie where I thought it was just fine. She was legitimately disappointed. And I think I think that sucks. Like, we both agreed that Blake Lively was phenomenal in this. And I think we both agreed that everyone else was de decently great for the material that they were given. But the entire film for two hours and ten minutes feels like it was rushed. And with all those little depths missing out, it feels like there's so much that needed to be put back into this movie. Before we get to the end of this, though, I do want to shout out one more thing is that the casting director did a really good job with the flashbacks because sometimes and even like with like Jenny Slate and like one other character, like specifically like her and her like siblings in this look so alike and like vice versa, like the younger version of Blake Lively in this, like it, it was like night and day how perfect they were. So I love that. I like the casting director. Got to give a shout out to that. But it ends with us is just fine. I think you may like it if you're not a fan of the book and maybe you're just looking for a, uh, you know, montage of love. But if you're looking for something a little bit deeper and you can clearly tell that there was supposed to be something a little bit deeper here, I don't know if that will be for you. So with all that said, I'm going to give this film a C minus. I have high expectations for this. No. Did my wife? Yes. I went into this hoping that I would just enjoy it for what it is. And I kind of just watched it and was like, okay, it's a little forgettable. And, you know, my wife watched it and thought it was just okay. So, guys, let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are. Thank you so much again for watching this. And, of course, until next time, stay classy. Stay classy.